Hello Techies! Welcome back to Power Automate Desktop Tutorials. In the previous tutorials, we have learned how to get the values of an attribute or an element by using get XML element attribute action as well as get XML element value action. Now, in this tutorial, we will learn how to set a value of an attribute by using set XML element attribute. There are two use cases I will explain you today. One is that how to update the existing attribute value by using set XML element attribute. The second use case, I want to add a new attribute value inside the node by using set XML element attribute. Let me show you a small example over here. If you see on my screen, I'm having an XML. If you see inside the nodes of the student, I'm having attribute gender. Gender equal to double quotes male and then class equal to one. Let's assume I want to set a value of an attribute to female over here, gender equal to female. In that case, how can we go ahead and set the value of an XML attribute by using set XML attribute value? That is the first thing. Now, second use case, let us assume if you see over here, I'm having attributes over here as gender and the class. Let us assume I want to add one more attribute as age. In that case, I will use set XML element attribute action. All right. By using this set XML element attribute, we can set the value of an attribute of an existing XML element. Over here, if you see, by using read XML file from action, I'm going to read the XML document that is students on teachers.xml and then the output, I'm going to store it in the XML document. From here onwards, we will use set XML element attribute. Let me drag and drop this set XML element attribute action onto the workspace. Now, if you see the parameters, first parameter is the XML document. That the document which we have read it by using read XML from file. So the XML document is XML document that is the flow variable that what we have. Now if you see the XPath query, what is the XPath query that if you see over here students teachers slash students inside that I'm having student over there I'm having the attribute over here as gender, right? The same path I'm going to select it right now. Now I'm going to give the export query as students, teachers slash students. That is the child node inside that students. I'm having student as a node over here. What is the attribute that I want to set the value? I'm going to give the attribute name as gender over here. If you see over here, I'm having gender as male. I want to set it the gender attribute value as female. Then I'm going to attribute value over here. I'm going to give it as female. All right. Now let's click on save. Now what will happen once you are going to be executing this flow inside the read XML file, it will read the XML document and then it will store inside the XML document flow variable. From here, if you see inside the flow variables XML document, it will be updating with the gender value as female. All right. Now, I want to know what is the output that we got it after setting the value over here. How can I go ahead and do that? I'm just going to use display message over here. Now I'm going to say updated XML as a title and then message to display. So in the XML document itself, it is going to be updating it. So I'm going to select the same XML document flow variable. All right, let's click on that and then click on save. Now, as a first use case, I'm going to update the gender from male to female. All right. Now let's run the flow to see the output. Flow execution started. And you can see the pop up over here. If you see over here, the gender equal to female. But as we have seen over here in our XML, I'm having gender equal to male. Now, by using set XML element attribute, we got updated our XML document, which we have read. And then we are going to display in the message that is, you can see over here, XML as gender equal to female. All right. This is the first use case that what we have done. 
now you may ask that the original xml will getting updated or not we are until we are going to write the xml it won't get updated okay now to get updated the original xml which we are going to read by using red xml from file that we are going to use write xml to file action that action we will learn in the upcoming sessions all right now as the first use case that we have seen how to update our xml attribute by using set xml element attribute now let us assume i want to add a new attribute inside the students node over here i am going to plan like i want to add a new attribute as age in that case how can we go ahead and do that over here if you see i'm having the same set xml element attribute let's click on that now if you see over here i have given the attribute name as gender now let assume i want to give it age which is not available inside this xpath query then what i'm going to do i'm going to give a attribute name which is not available and then i'm going to give the attribute value as 21 just i'm going to give some age over here which is related to this attribute that is age all right let's click on save now let's run the flow flow execution started now you can see over here i'm having original xml with the attributes as class equal to 1 gender equal to male right if you see over here i'm having only two attributes gender equal to male and class equal to 1 but if you observe our output i'm having extra attribute that is age equal to 21 which is just now have been added by using set xml element attribute i hope you understand how to update the existing xml element attribute as well as to insert a new xml element attribute by using set xml element attribute action as part of this tutorial in the next tutorial we will learn how to set a value of an element by using set xml element value action thank you for watching power automate tutorials if you have any queries related to this concept please post them in the comment section i will see you in the next session till then bye bye have a wonderful day